Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I'm here with one of my little tips all blended and ready to go because today we're going to be doing something quite whimsical. We're going to be doing some fairy wings and a little sparkly smile line. But just before we get started, comment off the wig. Don't forget each week one subscriber comment will be chosen at random to receive a little mini goodie bag just from me to you as a thank you for supporting my channel so hit that like subscribe if you haven't done so already and leave me a little hello below okay so here we go jumping in with cocktail dress this is the most beautiful pinky nude it's like a blush pink color and um, oh it just goes on so beautifully it's one of those colors that are absolutely timeless and uh, I, I just love it, look at it, oh, it is beautiful. Neo Neil, the colors are just, they're so lovely to apply as gel polish. They're so creamy and in a lot of instances, you could get away with one coat, no bother. But I've done two coats, I've cured it, and now we're gonna go in with some dry top matte, which is just basically the matte top coat and I'm putting it on very, very sparingly. And then we're gonna go in for a cure. Okay, so I've brought out my gorgeous Nat Mug Nail Sugar brush and I've popped some gel paint just onto a little palette there. You can use gel paint, gel polish, whatever tickles your fancy. Um, but for this here, what I'm doing is I'm just prepping the brush, running that through and um, we're just going to start off now just by doing the outline to our little fairy wings. These are really dainty and tiny so when you're doing your strokes, keep the brush nice and light just kind of lift it up the more upright that you keep your brush the finer that your lines will be um so just keep it nice and fine keep it lifted up there and uh yeah and just go nice and lightly for this here all you're doing is a basic outline because we're going to go over it anyway at the end so this here just kind of gives us a basic sort of a basic shape to work with for our fairy wings and look do you see how dainty that line is once you're happy with your outline pop it in for a cure or even just flash cured at this stage um because we're going to fill it in in a little moment Okay, so after that flash cure, I've just popped some base coat onto my palette and I'm just dipping in with a slightly thicker brush this time. And um, I'm just sort of filling in the blanks there just before we go in with some princess pixels. Would you look at that glitter? It is amazing. I love this stuff. If I had to choose one glitter, one fine glitter to wear for the rest of my life, I think it would be this, this just over any color. Oh, it's just absolutely incredible. If you don't have Princess Pixels in your collection, you must have it because it is perfect for all types of nails. Bridal nails, winter nails, super duper sparkly nails. So once that's all applied and tapped on, I've just put it in for a double cure and then I am brushing off the excess and that's a left with a very sparkly little wing. Now you could leave it like that there just as is, but we're going to top coat it and we're going to add some detail. So when I'm top coating over glitter, I like to put quite a sort of thickish layer over the glitter first and just give it time just to kind of like soak in um, and settle sort of just between the glitter because obviously you've got that kind of rough surface. So and then I've dipped back in into the bottle and I'm just going to coat over the rest of the nail. Once we've done that, then we're going to go in for another cure. Okay, so because my top coat has a tacky layer, I'm just removing that inhibition layer. And I'm gonna go back in with some more of that gel paint and my nut mug brush, super duper duper fine detail here. And as you can see, I'm keeping my brush nice and upright. I'm just taking my time and I am just outlining those edges really, really, really finely. The key to this is the finer the better because you want the details to be as dainty as possible. Remember, these are little fairy wings, so the daintier the detail, the sweeter that it's gonna look. It's gonna look really, really, really lovely. So once I'm finished with that detail, then I will go in for a cure and we'll move on to the next step. Thank you. 
and now on to the second design and this one here I wasn't actually too sure to include because you know it's a simple glitter sort of French tip if you will but sometimes it's just sort of good to show and um, I've just kind of basically drawn a, a little smile line on there and I have cured that and uh, now I'm going in with some base coat because I'm going to obviously add in some of the pixels and I thought having the little white guideline that would draw into the detail on the wings and obviously then um, with those princess pixels added just look at that sparkle isn't that gorgeous this would make such a beautiful bridal nail honestly I love these so once we have those tapped on we are going to go in for a double cure Okay, so we're going to give that a really good scrub off now and go in with our top coat. And again, as before, I just kind of float that onto the glitter area just to give it a really good chance to just kind of soak in between all those little particles, just work its way in there. And then we're going to do, um, I'm just going to cover then the rest of the nail and it will just, it will all cover really nicely, especially whenever you get to that glittery bit. And, uh, and then I will do a second coat just to make sure that everything's nice and smooth. And then we'll see the finished result. Ta-da! And there we go. That is our little fairy wings all finished. I hope you enjoyed this design. I just kind of wanted to do something a little different and with more kind of muted nude tones, which I actually haven't had to play around with in quite a while, but really enjoyed this. And I just love how the princess pixels sit against that beautiful sort of blushy pink color. So thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, leave me a little comment down below and uh, just have a fantastic week. So I shall see you all again next time. Take care. Bye.